Harry! Are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor! Did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas, when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve! That would seem to be the case, yes. But that contradicts the two testimonies we have heard so far, Your Honor. Both Miss Hart and the old man said that after Christmas was when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshots, it was already Christmas! This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor! Order! Order! What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says before says he heard the gunshots before midnight. Judge! The answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him, suspicious. What? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butt's claim that he heard the shot before midnight? Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard the gunshots before midnight. Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Show me evidence. What was the evidence for gunshot before midnight? Uh, what the hell did I just do? There we go. It was in the, I moved it to the side just a little bit. Um, look at this photograph. This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads two. December 24th, 11.50 p.m. Oh, yeah? Hmm. But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor, the real issue here is not why there's nothing shown in the photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. What do you mean, Your Honor? This photograph was taken by an automatic camera. The camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why the photograph was taken. In other words, when Larry heard the gunshot, it was most definitely Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that is the case. Then, where does the, that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard the gunshot after midnight. Are we, you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. It is this fact that the camera also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor, the night there were two gun sets of gunshots with 25 minute pause between them. Why would this be? Don't be fooled, judge. The camera was set to respond to loud noises, yes? Therefore, there is no proof that the loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why, the witness could have sneezed triggering the camera. Hey! My nose was clear that night, man, clear! Well, Mr. Wright, there's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise that was indeed the gunshot? Show us proof. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Mr. Wright! Is that a smirk I see? Or, Your Honor... Sorry, I wasn't really sure about the evidence. Damn it! I ask you again, can you prove the loud gunshot? Ah. Uh.
Oh, God, I don't know. I really don't. Um... Guys, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back. Sorry about that. It's actually really easy. It's the pistol was fired three times. This is my evidence. The murder weapon? Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of the witnesses yesterday who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. When, then when was the third shot fired. Only now have I realized the truth. The third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order! Order! Hmm. That was... That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Exactly. It is true there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50 at another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you, why? Uh-oh, I'd better think of something quick. Hmm. Wait a second. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes? Ah! What's wrong, Nick? I have it! I have it! Huh? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. The murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you mean? Maya! Yes, if we don't figure this out now, we'll, we'll never overturn Edward's guilty verdict. I've got a hunch, and I'm going to run with it. Right! I mean, is it safe? Safe? We've already gotten the guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. You just watch and let me know if you say... If I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? Right, Nick! Your Honor! Yes, Mr. Wright! The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? Tis tis tisk. So you finally realized the truth. There can be no murder other than Mr. than Miles Edgeworth himself. Wrong, Von Karma. The man who shot that night it A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on the lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Robert Harmon, were on the boat. There was a gunshot fired on the boat, and Robert Harmon fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Well, the guilty party has to be another man on the, that boat, I admit. It is hard to imagine any other possibility, yes. But this is the assumption that the victim was shot 15 minutes after midnight. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? We have a photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 0015. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then, 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. That's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Mr. Wright, are you quite mad? Explain who is the who is the sitting on the boat? 